Hi, welcome to Jinju's Academy. Today we will discuss first chapter chemical reactions and equations. Is a chemical reaction occur only in test tubes or in a conical flask? No. Rusting iron, cooking food, we respire like this a lot of life situations. Here we noticed a chemical change occurred in all these situations. Whenever a chemical change occurs, we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place. In this video, we will discuss the chemical equations of these chemical reactions and different types of chemical reactions. Let's start with an experiment. Burn a magnesium ribbon in the presence of oxygen and collect the ashes on a wash glass. Here, the reactants of this reaction is magnesium and oxygen and the product is magnesium oxide. This equation can be represented on its symbols. Mg plus O2 gives MgO. The number of magnesium atoms in reactant side and the product side is same. But the oxygen atom number is not equal. So we can say it is an unbalanced equation. In our life itself, there should be a balanced order. We need to balance the chemical equations too. Follow few steps to balance this equation in an easy way. First step, put these reactants and product in brackets separately. Second step, count the number of atoms of each element. Magnesium has same number of atoms in reactant and the product. But in the case of oxygen, we need to balance. Here, two oxygen atoms in reactant side and one atom in product side. So, we put Two along product MgO. Now the number of oxygen atom is equal in both sides. On adding two besides MgO, the number of atom of magnesium is changed. For balancing this, we put two along magnesium. Hence the equation is balanced. For more examples of balancing chemical equations, check the video link that given in the description box. As we discussed before, every life situations have a chemical reaction. For easy learning these reactions, they categorize into four types of chemical reactions. First type is combination reaction. Formation of a single product by the combination of two or more reactants. Example number one, formation of a slaked lime. Chemical name is calcium hydroxide. Here. Two reactants, calcium hydroxide and water, reacts and to form a single product, that is calcium hydroxide. Slaked lime is mainly used to decrease acidity in the soil, used as whitewash in low cost, etc. While we use slaked lime for whitewash, calcium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and forms calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate gives shiny appearance to the wall. Next example is burning of coal. Coal contains 95% of carbon. Burning of coal means reaction of carbon and oxygen in the atmosphere and to form carbon dioxide with large amount of heat. This large amount of heat is used in coal trains as fuel. The excess amount of carbon dioxide causes pollution, so the electric trains are invented. The third example is the formation of water from H2 and O2 gas. Two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen gas to form two molecules of water. If it so, can we make water artificially? No, because we can make water by adding these two gases together. It needs a large amount of heat to combine each other and to form water. It leads to high explosion. So, the whole thing is more dangerous than useful. The reaction of water formation needs more heat energy. But in some reactions, heat energy is formed along with the products. Such reactions are exothermic reactions. Reactions like burning of coal, burning of natural gas, etc. The chemical equations of these reactions are C plus O2 gives CO2 and CH4 that is methane plus 2O2 gives CO2 and H2O. Next type of chemical reaction is decomposition reaction. We learned the combination reaction is the formation of a single product by combining two or more reactants. But 
In decomposition reaction, a single reactant breaks down to give similar products. This breakdown process will occur by these three ways, thermally, electrically and photochemically. When a reactant breaks down by heating, it is called thermal decomposition. Ferrous sulfate breaks down to form ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide gas and sulfur trioxide gas. Like this, calcium carbonate decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. And decomposition of lead nitrate, same as above. It decomposes to lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and O2 gas. Decomposition of electrolysis means passing of electric current through an ionic substance and decomposed to similar product. Electrolysis of water. Look at this experiment. Insert two carbon electrodes with rubber stoppers by drilling two holes at the base of a plastic mug. Connect these electrodes to a battery. Fill the mug with water and a few drops of sulfuric acid such that the electrodes are immersed. Add two test tubes having water invert them over the electrodes. After switch on the current, leave the apparatus undisturbed. We can observe hydrogen gas bubbles are formed in the test tube at cathode side and oxygen gas bubbles are formed in the test tube at anode side. The equation of this reaction is 2H2O gives 2H2 plus O2. Water decomposes to hydrogen gas and oxygen gas by electrolysis. Next, decomposition by absorbing light. Decomposition of silver chloride and decomposition of silver bromide. In decomposition of silver chloride, it decomposes to silver and chlorine in the presence of light. Decomposition of silver bromide, same as decomposition of silver chloride. Silver bromide decomposes to silver and bromine. Third type of chemical reaction is displacement reaction. It means most reactive metal displaces least reactive metal from its compound. Let's go through an experiment. An iron nail is dipped in copper sulfate solution. After some time, we can observe that the iron nail is coated by copper metal. The color of iron nail and the solution is changed. The blue color of copper sulfate solution is changed to pale blue because the copper gets removed from the solution. Here, iron displaces copper from its solution. Iron is more reactive metal than copper. Some more examples are zinc displaces copper and to form zinc sulfate and lead displaces copper and to form lead chloride. In these two reactions, copper is less reactive than zinc and lead. Fourth type of chemical reaction is double displacement reaction. A reaction in which both the reactant exchange their ions to form two new compounds. That is double displacement reaction. One of the product of this reaction is in precipitate form. So, this reaction is also known as precipitate reaction. For example, Na2SO4 plus BaCl2 gives BaSO4 plus 2NaCl. SO4 2 minus ion in Na2SO4 combines with Ba2 plus ion in BaCl2 and forms BaSO4 compound. Cl minus ion in BaCl2 combines with Na plus ion in Na2SO4 and forms 2NaCl. By exchanging ions, new compounds are formed. What do you mean by this oxidation and reduction? Here, copper is added to oxygen in the presence of heat to form copper oxide. In this reaction, copper gains oxygen, so it is said to be oxidized. Then what about the reduction? If the hydrogen gas is passed over copper oxide, then copper is obtained. Here, copper loses oxygen during this reaction, so it is said to be reduced. Redox reaction means one reactant gets oxidized and the other gets reduced. When hydrogen gas is passed over copper oxide, 
copper loses its oxygen and get reduced hydrogen gains that oxygen to form water and get oxidized some redox reactions are zinc oxide reduced to form zinc and carbon oxidized to form carbon monoxide magnesium oxide loses its oxygen and reduced to magnesium chloride hydrochloric acid loses its hydrogen and oxidized to chlorine gas from these examples we can conclude if a reactant gains oxygen or loses hydrogen it is an oxidation reaction if a reactant loses oxygen or gains hydrogen it is a reduction reaction in our life itself there are some effects of oxidation reactions one of them is corrosion new iron materials are shiny it gets coated with a brown powder through the continuous air contact this is rusting of iron like this some substances attack metals and change its appearance when a metal is attacked by substance around it such as moisture acids etc it is said to be corrode and the process is corrosion black coating on silver green coating on copper are some examples of corrosion rancidity rancid means stale smell when fats and oils in food are oxidized they become rancid keeping food in airtight container and adding antioxidants in food help to slow down oxidation hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button and share this video with your friends have a good day thank you